Today we're having another look at the Korg Mini Log audio in. So right now, I'm not feeding it anything. This is a standard poly log. Hopefully you can see it here on the uh, oscilloscope. So, the trick here is to use a general MIDI module. If you didn't watch my previous video, you run MIDI out from your MIDI log to MIDI in on your MIDI module and simply run the audio back to your mini log. I've also added a delay uh, in between the module and the mini log, which gives you some fun effects too. But what I want to show you is how this can affect the oscillator almost like a third VCO. So if we take a pretty standard shape, or at least one that you're able to see well, then we can see how they affect each other. And again, this is just the two oscillators on the mini log. So on general MIDI I'm going to select a string or something of the sort. Something that will give us a nice hopefully clean wave. So there's a viola and you can see how it affects and it's got a little little vibrato to it. So this is just the wave from the Roland Sound Canvas. I can mute that. So, here's VCO1 without the Sound Canvas, and I'll fade in the Sound Canvas. And you can clearly see the effect that it has on the wave there. Same with, this is just the two VCOs of the mini log, and now we'll add the string and you see it modulates the whole thing. And it gets pretty crazy. What I've also found, and is pretty neat, is that the MIDI modules tend to be more sensitive to velocity than the MIDI log itself. So it can almost give you a morph function where you don't see much effect. We'll do this with one. So here's our standard wave. And then here it is with a little string. But if we had a hard string, you can really see it have more effect. So more and more string, less and less. So where I found this to be really fun again was with art patches. So we'll head over again to I Want Pop just because I like the sound of this one. And the sound canvas is on a piano. So, and you see it already has some of its own delay. And this is happening because of the mini log simply handling that signal. But I'm going to add an analog delay to that itself too. And so with no sound canvas we have a standard ARP. And if you take your hand on and off of keys it affects your ARP pattern, but there's no impact sound. So this is what I use the MIDI module for. So I'm going to bring the piano in. and I don't know if you can see my Volca here or not, but I've got a, just a simple beat that I've got over here and we can load. Just a simple little beat on here. So that's the fun part. Now if you're more interested in seeing a few more things on the oscilloscope, feel free to hang with me for a second here. I want to find something like a lead, there we go, that really gives us a clean wave. So I'm at a baritone sax actually on the MIDI module and I think that might work for us. 
So I'm going to drop my keyboard down an octave. And so all you're hearing, and I still have the delay on, so here's a clean-ish baritone sax. And you'll see once it levels out, it gives you a pretty steady wave. And you can clearly see how it modulates. So here's this, the mini log, and now here's a sax. And you see it quite nicely modulate throughout. So this is a mono patch, but we can still have some fun with it. So, it's a little bit much on the sax. So again, go forward and prosper. I hope this was a little bit more explanatory and easier to watch than my last video. So thanks for watching.